Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you with your weekend update. We got some oh big heirloom changes depending on how you feel about that. Uh, hmm, we'll have to talk about a few of the things that we're doing outside as well. A big Gellywicks band as well, including pet charm changes. Some some posts about that. We got much, much more. Let's get on into this, shan't we? Dr. Fox back here with you with the weekend update. Hope you all are having a, a good week so far and holding through and enjoying some of what's going on out there as well. I enjoyed a nice birthday yesterday with my brother. We had a nice little cookout at his place. Went for an ice cream and then chilled out. Had a few errands to run in there. And on the outside of things, I uh, finally caught up on Toy Story 4. What a beautiful little send-off in this case, if that's what ends up happening with that storyline. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give away any spoilers in case you haven't seen it yet. I think the only other Pixar movie I have to see, or if, I, if, if for me to catch up on all Pixar films, was I think it's Cars 3. Uh, I thought I saw part of that, but I'm going to catch up on it. I saw Onward the other week. I... That that was a, a cute little film, uh, just magic and adventure. That was very enjoyable. On another side note, looks like no PS Plus credit has come up for me yet. Have you seen it? Go ahead and feel free to post that if you are a PlayStation individual as well. The, the curiosity, and there may have been new news about that that's come out that's changed or something, and I just haven't been given that updated information yet that I can find as well. So... Uh, Let's see. Oh, some guildies had asked me, uh, Dr. Fox, how do you get past item level 420? Well, that's going to probably have to be a separate video at this point. But what I found mostly is you want to try to fly around in your your areas, uh, like say B, uh, in your, your BFA areas. And you check your dailies that reset every, every day around 11-ish. Now, there are some that do show up later in the evening. But you got to do that until it be here about 420. And you can do it that way. You can also run some dungeons and some other options. I also plug away at looking for, like, when it comes to just stocking up on a uh, quick side note on gold. I like to look for some of the emissaries that come up with gold. And basically, if you're able to catch those emissaries every ever a couple of days, those those daily emissaries. Or, heck, you can wait, like, every three days if you don't even want to be on and catch all three emissaries and fly around for, like, you know, half hour, 40 minutes. There's a potential of starting to get 445 gear from that as well. There is some 430 gear you can get from a few other options. Uh, you can start to run some dungeons, and some folks I know don't like to run dungeons. Uh, but that's something that may kind of, you know, there is battlegrounds options, but you have to win to get those pieces, so that's even more of a risk. And then after that, you pretty much... Uh, now, again, I'm leaving this kind of vague. There are other, other little details in here. Uh, I'm just trying to cover it very briefly because th this is sort of a, a, what I like to call the weekend updates. So there's a lot of brief information that I give across, and then I, I add a few links <clears throat> to those as well. Excuse me. But then basically after that, it's you run one mythic to get your first mythic keystone, and then you start running those. You've got to do it under the time limit. If you don't, your keystone number goes down. So let's say you get a... a, a, a Mythic plus Keystone 4. And you can't finish a Tal Bredard, uh, uh, d uh, d Tal de Gore in time. Excuse me. I know. <laughs> Those that know my channel know I botched some of these names. Um, and say you can't do it under the said 35 minutes-ish or so that they give you. I, give or take. I know sometimes those timers are slightly more and less than that. I'm just these are just random numbers I'm throwing out. Okay, I don't need to be exactly specific here. But what I'm what my point is is, if let's say it reaches zero, and you're not quite finished yet. You'll still get a little boost for your Azerite. We know Azerite's going away, but right now we know also that if you're going to lose out if you don't want these other items prior to going to Shadowland. So I was just trying to help prep those that are curious and interested. So you, you can't finish it, and then your keystone number goes from a four down to like a two. 
So you're going to have to try to be able to go through this. So that's I highly recommend trying to work your gear up. At least get your back to five. I know beyond that, you have to start going into those other areas to get it up to seven. I think I just got mine to eight. I had to run it twice just to get two pages for it to go up one level. Now they want you to run it four to get four pages to go up a level. It's insanity after that. It's it's nuts. A lot of people get bored with it. But that's just what I've done at this point. I kept my Azure. I think my Azure right now is at like 88 or 89 at this point i'm trying to remember what it uh 88 and three quarters it's about to hit 89 i think that puts it at item level around 509 and once it hits 89 it'll be like 510 so i'm at item level 454 with with my main character trying to hit that 455 has been a challenge trying to get into mythics and trying to finish at a heroic run on the raid of nyalotha and uh, anyway so i'm not going to spend too too much time on this i i if I had better editing set up, then I could put timestamps in easier. But anyway, with that, let's uh, shift gears into, into heirloom changes. No experience boost, but there'll be some interesting changes as you level, it, or not level, but as you collect different ones. Thank goodness I collected all mine, but at the same time, ugh, all that gold spent to, to, to get these small variations of like 30% boosted XP, and a lot of us... And, and that's great if, if you find yourself doing uh, like a little uh, leveling for a little while and then you put your character away in the end for a bit and then you come back like earlier traditional versions of, of WoW. Same with stopping to rest and, and eat. I find myself I haven't really had to stop and rest. And I tend to do what I call burst leveling. I tend to just go at it for like a day on one character. Come back and just be at the same the, the same character for the next. Now, that will help slightly for those next couple of days. But when it comes to squish levels, we're, there's going to be less time to level. So I have to kind of see pros and cons and you know share your thoughts about how you feel about that as well. Uh, there'll be some different changes uh, when that comes. And there won't be a lot of potion availability anymore. The BFA potion available will only take you up to level 50 at 10% increase. Those only last year on a one-hour buff anyway. And a lot of the other ones, like the Elixir of the Rapid Mine, that's like a 15-minute one. That one's going away. Excess potion of uh, the... Uh, even, even, even the Monk XP buff... Yeah, you'll still get some little other buffs in other areas, but it uh, looks like poor that one. It's like, oh no, Dr. Fox, we don't want to see that one go away. I know, I've enjoyed leveling a few of my monks with that little extra bonus, and it was stacking each hour. So it may, it should still stack is what I'm understanding, but don't quote me on that if that changes. We'll have to. Uh, I'm very excited to see some uh, better Shadow Priest changes. Well... Depends on the person. You got better or worse. I found it a little easier than you have to like grind the shadow priest up its power, and then for that for that for that power rod, as I call it, just to 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 dwindle down so quickly. And this one, it kind of it just finally gives you like a uh, an exact cooldown, but it but it hits it like twenty percent more. So um, it, that's interesting uh, as well. We'll have to see kind of how that plays out as well, and we'll see what your thoughts are and how do you feel about those changes in shadow priest as well. Uh, over an AQ Classic Live, looks like uh, for some servers, you know, we're just about ready for that to go live. It takes that five-day process, even after you get all war supplies. Uh, sadly, our server still has a, ha a fan handful of a few items that are still needed. But it seems we've got some servers out there all that have been ready to rock since five days ago. Uh, well, almost five days ago. If you're seeing this on Tuesday at the reset, uh, approximately uh, August uh 10th ish even tomorrow uh, if you're seeing this on sunday and we'll get into calendar dates here shortly like we usually do uh that's coming up at the tail end of the uh, broadcast as well uh outside as well we've got a few uh switch sales a lot of times we see that on a lot of the the indie ones as well we might have a castlevania mobile game i know they're kind of moving away from that but uh mobile but we'll have to kind of see where that all kind of integrates maybe we'll see that in next gen on how we'll we'll eventually see that or maybe it'll all still finally stay separate or i don't know ultimately i'd like to see a tablet down the future that would allow us to just play regular mobile games whether it be from ios android and yes, some people will talk about mods. I'm not talking about mods. Something simplistic. 
that just comes with a tablet that will lie you. But we know a lot of times it's going to be licensing and all these other issues that people will go, oh, that'll never happen. Dr. Fox. All right, look, just enjoy my fantasy for five seconds, okay? Integrate that into all the Nintendo software, maybe through like a hub that's available through your, your, your downloading process. Allow you to play Windows games. And some will talk about the stream, but I'm talking about taking your Windows games with you. And some will say there's mods for that, but look, I'm not trying to get in all the mods. So just, like I said, just fancy with me through my fantasy for just a few moments, if you shall, please, uh, with that. So we'll have to kind of see how that all plays out eventually uh, as well. Uh, through YouTube, it looks like a lot of the musicians are going to be given their own artist official music video uh, channel as well. I know like a, um, a musician like myself or an artist that, that sort of dips in it every once in a while. I'm not quite as active as I used to be as a musician for a lot of reasons. So some of my brain injury and stuff has made it hard. I'm not saying I'm letting that get in my way or an excuse or anything like that. It's just how things have happened in life and whatnot is around me. And it doesn't mean that that's not still a priority in other pieces. But anyway, that wasn't my point. My point was is YouTube's got that for musicians out there that hopefully will enjoy that aspect. Gillywick's band, uh, that service, uh, technically we're not supposed to be seeing that when you go in. Now, supposedly you got your little trade chat down there in the lower left-hand corner option. And supposedly, technically, it's sort of legal okay to do it that way. But, and, and doing it for gold exchange, but not money exchange. But then there's the services that use the money exchange to get the large amounts of gold. So there's all these, uh, I don't know. It all depends on how, you know, what do you think about that? Uh, and we know technically by law, we're not, that's not supposed to be happening, but we know things still happen. And, and then they would just pop up under another name. I mean, this has been happening for decades on all different games, not just World of Warcraft. But we won't get too much into that. So it all depends on, on what your, your interesting thoughts are on that as well. And then we're going to kind of wrap this up around, before I get into calendar dates, the pet charm changes. There was a post, but they kind of left it a little vague on how this pet, charm thing so they'd say well dr fox should i stock up now yeah it's okay to stock up supposedly anyway in the beta of shadowlands we still see where you can get your polished pet charms from bfa and shadowlands let's hope it kind of stays that way and doesn't convert down to what you had back into blue ones if that happens that would be a good time so i know there's this controversy of what we call the seesaw effect where you're like well should i or shouldn't i and I think as we, I hopefully as we get closer to release, we'll have a little bit more solid answer. But for now, I've been stalking mine. I'm very tempted to just use them all and just buy a bunch of leveling stones. Uh, just to kind of finish up all the old uh, pets that I had. That, that way I'm better prepped. But then at the same time, I'm a little weary about not having a good stack of them ready for the next one even though the it doesn't really matter you could still just spend them because then you've still got your stack of your stones ready to go so when you do find your new care uh pets you'll be able to just immediately level them and things like that i haven't quite got enough stack to get tons and tons and tons of those uh stones yet but i can definitely start to get a small chunk of those so we'll have to kind of see how that plays out uh and with that we're gonna kind of shift gears uh sadly dark moon fair finished up yesterday uh, it seems the, the time walking event is, is wrapping up as well throughout this week, our pet battle bonus week. I've been, excuse me, out getting my pet battle bonuses during the day of, of doing a few battles to pick up my extra 10. Technically I'm getting about, tw uh, 10 levels a day plus the 10 comes after every, th after the third day of the 10 stack, meaning I, d I do like two battles a day out in Draenor and I do Ashley and I do the one with uh, that stand, that looks like the Skeksy uh, uh, Skies of Iraq with the one down there I do that twice a day that gives two characters about a 10 level boost each day and then when you hit 5 you get your 10 more back in your Draenor pet menagerie now you can make sure if you want to go back and get all if you have a lot of alts to make sure that they're level that the garrison levels are, i know that can be pretty pricey when it comes to a pricey bit of gold there is great ways to make some decent gold right now as you fly around for dailies 
in BFA. So that can help towards it a bit. But we know there's no, you know, it just, it, it's a, it's a time consuming product. It's not something you can go in there, jump in, play it for five, 10 minutes. If that's the case, you're going to have to find some other format or you're going to get flustered really quickly about having to spend a lot of time. It becomes a time long gated history of keeping the viewer in here for long periods of time. Uh, but I won't get into that aspect of it anyway. So then we have uh, the uh, PvP Brawl Temple at uh, Hot 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 Mogol Mo 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 ending as well. Uh, Nihilothus Wakens. Uh, um, no, I've been plugging away at Nihilothus. Excuse me for for my notes here uh, as well. And then. Um, Starting this Tuesday, excuse me, we have the, the time walking uh, event starting back up. This is the, the Cata time walking, seems to be this week, is coming up this way. And don't forget, a week from today, when I post, I will mention it. I have some great little vids up as well. You might want to check them out. Free t-shirt day! Where to fly around and get yourself some free t-shirts and pick up some of those. If, you, if you're a transmogger like myself who enjoys those, it's a great time in case you've missed those free t-shirt days the last few few years. Highly recommend flying around and getting your little goodies. Uh, like I said, I put out some great little vids about this. Feel free to check them out. I can also share those links uh, as well. I'll probably be sharing those links next when uh, next Sunday because uh, it'll be more prevalent that particular day. I will add them today, though, because by the time free t-shirt uh, day will kind of be underway starting at technically 3.01 a.m. here on the Eastern Standard Time, midnight, 12.01 in Pacific. Uh, so technically it'll already be underway, and my my videos don't come out till mid-morning usually. So I will put the, some of the links in this week and try to, do, try to do it this weekend next. So with that, we're going to wrap things up. Remember to take uh, two more weeks and a couple extra thoughts about how you feel this week on things call me in the morning and then once again yes we will see you later